Hey there guys and gals and welcome back to the D4A channel. Today we have another exciting batch of parts for my 4AG bike carb conversion engine build. As you can probably tell from the title of the video, today I have some more awesome lightweight pulleys from Techno Toy Tuning to show you. Now as you already may or may not know, I already have a, a, a lightweight crankshaft pulley from Techno Toy Tuning. I have done a pretty detailed unboxing video about that pulley. If you want to see it, if you haven't already seen it, it's in that corner there in the suggested card thing. So click on that to see that pulley. Today, uh, once I got in the crankshaft pulley, I actually thought it looked so cool that I could not resist getting, you know, the other two pulleys that Techno Toy Tuning makes for the 4AG. And those are the little alternator pulley. water pump pulley. So just like my crankshaft pulley, these are in this lovely anodized bowl color and I'm super excited to have them. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a review and unboxing thing of these two pulleys. We are going to compare them with the stock pulleys and we are also going to talk another, about another really important part for my 4EG bike card conversion build and that is the trigger wheel also from Techno Toy Tuning, which I got, which will make it possible for me to have a standalone ignition ECU on my 4AG engine. Let's take a more detailed look at the new pulleys versus the stock uh, OEM pulleys. Now, as you can see, of course, the aluminum anodized lightweight pulleys from Techno Toy Tuning look a lot nicer. The stock ones are definitely kind of boring, old. And when you take them in your hand, you can feel that they are quite a bit heavier. Now, another thing that you might notice is that the diameter of the stock one is actually smaller than the diameter of the Techno Toy Tuning water pump pulley. Now, why is that? Techno Toy Tuning claims that these are 18% bigger than the stock ones to reduce cavitation, to help reduce cavitation at high RPMs. Now, I had no idea what cavitation is, so I googled it, and what it is, it's actually the formation of air bubbles around the impeller of any pump that pumps fluids. Now, what that does is it actually reduces the efficiency uh, of any pump, and a bigger pulley can actually help reduce the formation of these bubbles and help your engine temperatures stay lower at higher RPMs, where, of course, it's the most important to keep your engine cool. So that's another great thing. This, of course, also means that you need to find a proper V-belt to accommodate the slightly larger uh, water pump pulley, or you can actually uh, might be able to get away with this by moving your alternator, you know, on its, on its bracket. So you can, might actually be able to get away without changing the the, the the alternator and water pump pulley belt i do not know yet uh, you know for certain if you need a new one or you don't need a new one but we will know once i start assembling my engine now let's actually weigh these and see the real differences in weight so here we have my trusty kitchen scale i'm gonna turn it on i hope you can read the numbers on video i'm gonna play with the light a bit so you can see the numbers and I think, there we go. So, stock water pump pulley is 436 grams. Techno toy tuning water pump pulley is 369 grams. Stock alternator pump is 195 grams. And techno toy tuning alternator pulley is 80 Three grams. Now, you might think that this is actually not much of a difference, a couple of, you know, 100 grams, but actually every little bit adds up, and I'm going to show you that on a concrete example by just how much weight you can save with these lightweight pulleys. Now, in my last video of the Techno Toy Tuning Lightweight Crankshaft Pulley, I actually got a commenter saying that the difference between the lightweight stuff and the stock stuff is not significant enough and that the difference, you know, when you drive the engine will not be noticeable. Now I actually beg to differ. And here you can see from this paper, here are some numbers on the screen. 
where I have put all the weights of the stock stuff and the weights of the lightweight techno toy tuning stuff, including, including my trigger wheel, which I need for my bike carb setup. Now, as you can see, the difference between my uh, lightweight setup and the stock stuff is 979 grams. Now, when it comes to the rotational mass of an engine, a difference in weight of almost one kilogram is definitely significant and noticeable. And here's how I know. I actually have a 20 valve blacktop 4AG flywheel installed on my engine. I drove my car both with the stock flywheel and with the 20 valve slightly lighter blacktop flywheel. Now the difference between these two flywheels is actually 1.4, 1.5 kilograms. And I can tell you that driving the car with these two flywheels, I could definitely feel that the engine was a lot more rev happy and that it revved a lot more freely. Now with the lightweight pulleys, I have actually managed to reduce the, the weight, the, the difference, you know, uh, the rotational mass actually by almost a kilo. So with the pulleys, I have managed to save almost as much as with the lightweight flywheel. And that was definitely a noticeable weight difference. If you're actually not going to go with bicarbs and you're going to, you know, keep fuel injection, you do not need a trigger wheel and you are going to save more, uh, almost 1,400 uh, 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 grams, which is actually the same amount as you would save with a black top lightweight flywheel. So that is definitely something significant that can be done just with pulleys. And I think the 4AG, the engine as it is, there's almost nothing that makes it feel better than you know making it even more rev happy now talking about this uh, uh, I, I want to also touch up on the trigger wheel now the trigger wheel is a very important thing if you want to get your car running on carbs and you want to get it running right you need a trigger wheel because what the trigger wheel does is once you attach it to your crankshaft pulley and this one is perfectly compatible because they are all both made by techno toy tuning so the install is super easy. You simply put it on the crankshaft pulley. There you go. You get these two bolts and you install it on the back. You simply bolt, bolt it in. Now what you do then is you are going to get your uh, crankshaft position sensor, which you are going to install on your engine block. And it's going to read, you know, based on these teeth and the empty teeth, actually the missing tooth, it's going to know exactly the position of your engine. Now, here's the cool thing about this particular uh, Techno Toy Tuning one. It's just a little detail, but it's very important to see how a company is actually dedicated to making balanced quality parts. As you can see, the missing tooth, here it is. And on the other side, Techno Toy Tuning has actually made a little hole to completely balance out the missing tooth. I think it's this kind of attention to detail that shows you that shows you a product, you know, is a high quality item. Now, this of course is also, I think, anodized or galvanized or something, so it's probably not going to rust. And it's very important if you want to get your uh, standalone ECU running right, with, because without a good trigger wheel, you will not, you know, have proper uh, signal to your crankshaft position sensor, and your carbs will definitely not be running right because your standalone uh, ignition ECU will not be interpreting things as it as it should be. Now, in case you actually have a 20 valve blacktop 4AG engine, the trigger wheel cannot be installed on the back of the crankshaft pulley like this. You will have to install it on the front of your crankshaft pulley, but that is also not an issue at all because Techno Toy Tuning has made available a adapter plate which goes on the front of your crankshaft pulley and then you can install your crankshaft, uh, your, your trigger wheel on the front of the crankshaft pulley, which has actually eliminated any fitment issues that were present when the trigger wheel was installed on the back on the crankshaft pulley in the case of the 4AG 20 valve engines. Another thing I want to touch upon very briefly in this video is the alleged hazardous nature of lightweight aluminum crankshaft pulleys. Now, this is a pretty big debate in the car enthusiast community on the internet. And if you look around, if you browse around, you will see that there's a side to the argument that says that the only crankshaft pulley you should be using on your engine is the stock one, because the stock crankshaft pulley is an uh, harmonics balancer. Now, this has started to become a blanket statement for all engines 
and that the, regardless of the type of engine you have, you should use only the stock crankshaft pulley because if you remove it and change it with, you know, with and uh, replace it with a lightweight one, you will have catastrophic bearing failure on your engine. Now, there is a misconception to this argument because it does not apply to all engines. Now, many modern post 80s engines like the 4AG in, the, in my Toyota MR2 is actually internally balanced. Now, what that means is that it does not require an external balancer in the form of a crankshaft pulley. Now, if you take uh, a muscle car from the 70s and take a look at its uh, V8 engine or any other old V8 engine, you will see that that crankshaft pulley is definitely very different from the 4AG crankshaft pulley and that that crankshaft pulley actually is a harmonics balancer. Why? because that V8 engine is externally balanced via the crankshaft pulley. And if you replace that crankshaft pulley with a lightweight one, uh, you will have problems with that engine. But that is not the case with the 4AG and many similar modern engines. Now, when I say modern, uh, I mean modern because it's 2017. Now, now here's the deal. The crankshaft pulley in the 4AG and many similar engines is actually a, hermo a harmonics dampener. Now, you can verify this by going to an online parts website or even going to your dealer and giving them the part number. You will see that the part is listed as a harmonics dampener, not a harmonics balancer. So it does not balance out harmonics, it only dampens them. And every engine has some sort of harmonics because they are caused by the inherent properties of every internal combustion engine. So what the damper does is it has a tiny, if you look at the stock crankshaft pulley, you will see that it has a tiny, tiny piece of rubber inside the pulley and that rubber actually absorbs the vibrations and the harshness and the noise of the harmonics. Now, after 30 years, I guarantee you that that, that rubber has been, you know, has deteriorated with all the, I, I don't know, the different weather conditions and just being old and it's not doing its job anymore. Now, you cannot buy a crankshaft pulley new from the dealer so your best bet actually is replacing it with a high quality lightweight pulley why because this thing will actually make a restored internal balance to your engine because the rubber in the original one is definitely gone and this is why a lot of people who install high quality uh, lightweight crankshaft pulleys actually claim that they can feel their engine is running you know smoother after the installation of the pulley so that's a very important thing to take in mind. And another important thing to take in mind uh, is that people who claim that uh, these pulleys, lightweight pulleys, have caused catastrophic damage, often install them on abused, tired, you know, engines that have been driven very hard and not maintained properly, and that would have failed for a million other reasons, you know, like a battery functioning airflow meter that could actually result in a slightly lean condition is going to kill an engine a lot sooner uh, before you know a crankshaft pulley will ever have the chance to now that's another thing and an, another uh, part that has to be taken into account is that lightweight crankshaft pulleys have to be high quality items you cannot buy some cheap knockoff you know on an online website and claim you have a good part you need to buy a, a high quality crankshaft pulley that has been balanced and that has been made by you know by a reputable company like, for example, Techno Toy Tuning. Now, this particular one, as I already said it in the crankshaft pulley video, has been balanced to 11,000 RPMs. Now, very few 4AGs will ever see 11,000 RPMs, but that just shows you the extra margin of safety that has been incorporated in this part. So, I guess that's pretty much it when it comes to that, because I wanted to get that, you know, out there, because I know it's a, it's a pretty big debate, and a lot of people might be concerned that I'm installing this thing and I might damage my engine. But regardless of what I say about this debate, I think there are always going to be some people that are going to disagree with the lightweight pulley approach. So what I think it's best to do is to interpret this, what I'm doing, as an experiment that might have a good chance of finally putting this argument to rest in the case of the 4AG engine. So in case that my engine fails, we'll definitely know whether it failed because of this, or if it, you know, gets to, gets to, 100,000 miles or 150,000 miles, we will definitely also know that these things cause no harm. And I do intend to drive my engine hard, and I do intend to go, you know, to a couple of track days. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the lightweight pulleys. As you can see, 
I have a complete set and I'm very excited about that. I think my engine is going to look pretty cool thanks to these lightweight pulleys. It's also going to spin a lot more freely thanks to these lightweight pulleys. So if you have any questions or, con or concerns, the comment section is right down there and it's all yours. And as always, do not forget to share, like and subscribe. That's definitely a huge motivation for me. So thanks for watching and as always, see you soon on the D4A channel.